What's poppin', guys? You're watching another episode of The Weekly Colonel. Today, here with me is my special guest. He is one of the top MLB prospects and a former Sooner. He's a two-time first-team All-Big 12 player and a two-time All-American and a two-time Team USA MVP and the 2018 District 6 Player of the Year. Mm. He's known for his unique personality on and off the field. <laughs> First off, I'm trying to make you look good and now you're gonna spill on my floor? Hey, I ain't gonna cap to you. I spilled popcorn. That's no cap. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. He's known for his unique personality on and off the field and arguably had the best hair flow in the Big 12. Oh. In his final season as a Sooner, he hit 13 home runs, had 53 RBI, and ended with a 352 batting average. This past June, he was drafted in the second round to the Chicago White Sox and will begin spring training very soon. Say hello to my best friend, Steel Walker. Hey, thank you, Dad. That was very sweet of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just speaking facts. Thanks, guys, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, can't wait to get this show on the road. She's gonna do big things. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> So you were a student athlete for about, what, three years? Three years, yeah. Where you had to not only focus on baseball, but you had to focus on your academics as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now you can solely focus on your craft. How have you handled that transition? Yeah, it's actually a good question. Um, I don't think a lot of people really understand like everything that's on a student athlete's plate. Mm -hmm. I mean, when it comes to practice every day, and you got your season, and then you got class and tutoring and all that. Uh, you don't have a lot of time to uh, not necessarily perfect your craft because you're practicing a lot, mm -hmm. but really to, to, to branch out and spread your wings into to various things and develop kind of look as a person. totally develop as a person. So um, really, that's been the biggest uh, difference that I've seen in my life, mm -hmm. really my development as a person, as a man, um, and uh, not not as much as my craft. Um, because you know, as you know, being being a gymnast, you know, mm -hmm. you're you're in the gym all the time. All the time. You know, we were at the field all the time. And that's your focus. Yeah, but but when you enter the professional level, obviously the skill and the talent leaps up a lot. Um, but really, you know, you have the the time to mature as a person and really hone in the, the mental capacity um, of yourself. And so that's that's the biggest difference, um, and really the thing that I've enjoyed the most making that jump. So, do you think that you'll ever go back to OU and finish your degree? Definitely, yeah. Um, thankfully, the White Sox uh, will cover that. Appreciate it. Um, so, I can go back whenever. And uh, I know my mom, being a former principal, uh, would love that. Do so, it for uh, your mom. That's, that's somewhere in the future. Yeah, you got to do it for your mom. Shout out moms. <laughs> Pour it for you? Sure. Love that. Right now? Yeah, don't spill it on the floor like you do. <laughs> that did happen. What is your favorite memory from OU? Uh, wow. My favorite memory is not like a specific moment, mm -hmm. but like it happened a lot. Mm -hmm. When I look back on college, like that's like one of the like better things that I remember. Okay, explain it. So uh, I'll just take you kind of through the day. Okay. Um, you got that Story early time. early morning workout, mm -hmm. you know, go to a couple classes, go to practice, long practice. You like scrimmage after, you know, so your legs are pretty tired. So tired. Finally make it back home, get a nice hot shower. Mm -hmm. Get out of the shower. Get a couple tss, 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 sweet pea. Head downstairs and proceed to give Moose, Dom, and Ram all L's in FIFA. <laughs> That's one of my favorite memories. It happened a lot. So, do you remember any of the times that you took an L in FIFA? Because I bet they do. In, in FIFA? Yeah. I don't even know what that means. What even is that? You don't remember that one time. Oh, and then oh, and then that other time. Oh, you were there? Oh, yeah, and then that other time. She was there. So, I know that you have deep Texas roots. Both your parents went to UT. Your dad played baseball at UT, and both your brothers played football at UT. Mm -hmm. So, why did you choose OU? Wow. Well, to be honest, Texas didn't, didn't show up in the recruiting process, you know? Mm -hmm. I was a late bloomer. 
uh, didn't get good till later on in my high school career, you know. Um, but OU, thankfully, and, and some other schools um, showed love uh, and I knew I was going to have a chance to play mm -hmm. soon. And that was really what I wanted to do. Um, but uh, made Texas pay for it later on. So it worked out for you. It worked out in the end. Yeah. Just want to welcome <laughs> Chewy to the show. <laughs> this is the legendary Chewy, everybody. He's getting up there in age, but he's Stop. still making it. Uh, what are some long-term goals that you have? Um, to, to say it broadly, be the best I can be. Uh, reach like reach my full potential, really in everything, whether that's business, whether that's uh, you know the entrepreneur route, the baseball route. Reach reach my ceiling, you know. I know God has His hand on me, um, but uh, I want to cooperate with with what He's doing, and I want to be fully in where He has me right now. He has me in baseball, so uh, I want to reach as far as I can go in that, and, and that's what I'm gonna do. I love that. Yeah, yeah. So I want to bring up your Instagram for a second. You have a unique aesthetic, and you've aesthetic. been posting. Yeah, aesthetic. Aesthetic. Yeah, and you've been posting three photos in a row. I know that yeah. your followers <laughs> want to know. So. Um. So. <laughs> seriously, seriously speaking. Yeah. Three, three is an important number mm -hmm. for me in my life. You have the triune God. He's one, but he's three parts. I'm the third sibling in my family. Hmm. Uh. So yeah, I'm the baby. Um. Uh. But also. Practically speaking, mm -hmm. I think it makes things smoother, you know, so it's like, I don't know, like some something about clicking on a picture and waiting for them all to load and then swiping. It's like you have the first picture. It's like the A team mm -hmm. and it's like B team, C team, D team picture. But for me, all the picture, the A team, you know, mm -hmm. they're all of equal importance. You can all see them. It flows well. Not to mention three star life, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so anyways, no, yeah. but but yeah, it's just it's just something for me to be creative. Um, gotcha. I like the look on the page, and, and I have I have fun with it. You know, I am who I am. You are I, who you I are. I am who I am. He is you know? who he is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very unique. Thank you. Yeah. You too. You too. Yeah. So now I want to look at a couple of your photos. Butter. So this first photo, you're actually wearing a Chicago Cubs shirt, and uh, you're with the socks. So yeah. Why were you wearing this shirt at such a young age? You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment on that. I'm just gonna say, you're gonna have to talk to my mom and dad. <laughs> at that age, I was not dressing myself. <laughs> <laughs> so this next photo, you're kind of running, and the caption is an emoji, and it kind of has your same hair, <laughs> but it has like this face paint on. <clears throat> is that emoji you or? Um... Mm. Yes. 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 So do you paint your face ever? Yes. Really? Oh yeah, you kind of do. Yes. The eye black. Yes. All right, so this next photo, you're running your hands through your hair and I can't help but notice, but you have a pinky ring on. Uh, what is this new trend that you're trying to set? Oh, oh. Sorry. What was the question? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, it's not a pinky ring, it's a pinky ting. <laughs> pinky ting, everyone. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, so now I'm going to have you answer some pop questions. Um, I made this bat for you, and I'm going to throw popcorn every single time I ask you a question, and you're going to have to Hand made. Hand made. Handmade. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see how good his batting average is. Wow. How long does it take to do your hair? Two minutes. Oh, <laughs> oh I nailed that. Importantly, what flavor of popcorn best represents you? Cheddar. <laughs> oh, you're all asleep. Like, that's really a far hit. What color do you look best in? Olive. <laughs> that went through the circle. That went through the circle. Nike or Adidas? Adidas. What's your go-to phrase? What's good? <laughs> so your best friend Kyler, football or baseball? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any hidden talents? I can low-key sing. All right, show us. I want to hear you sing. Oh, wait, y'all, you want me to sing? Yeah, they oh, want to hear you, you sing. sing. Yeah. 
We're like fire and gasoline. I'm no good for you. You're no good for me. We only bring each other tears and sorrow. <laughs> that. Where can I find Steel Walker when he's not playing baseball? Mall. North Park Mall, baby. Am I best at pitching or hitting? Pitching. <laughs> really, neither. Um, but, I, but I had to say one. <laughs> the, she threw out the first pitch at one of the OU games. It was not even close to the strike zone. All I right. I don't know why I said pitching. I don't know why I said pitching. All right, but then I redeemed myself. When? At the Texas Rangers game. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bounce back. Bounce back. This is like the last one. Okay. You focus. When will Chipotle start sponsoring you? I hope right now. <laughs> Chipotle, do you hear that? Biggest fam. Number one fan. Do me right. Back on somewhat of a serious note, what is something that nobody knows about Steel Walker? Something that nobody knows? Nobody knows. Whoa. Nobody knows? Nobody. I recently got into uh, really liking fussy socks. <laughs> Is that not a fair thing? That's what nobody knows about Steel Walker. Yeah. All that drama for that. He's trying to show them off for you guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Woo America. That's right. Okay, so funny story, I actually met Steele for the first time in Pilates class and I remember when he talked to me for the first time, I had absolutely no clue what he was saying. So I've been joking around for three years that he has his own language, so I actually made him his own dictionary and gave it to him. So out of that dictionary, if you could only use one of those words for the rest of your life, which would it be? Can the word be... Connected with the dash in the middle. I mean, does that make it one word or? Take that as a yes. Low key. Low key. Low key. Hands down. Low key, that's a good one. Low key. Good work. <laughs> nice work. I want to flip the table real quick, if it's okay. I want to ask yeah. you a question. Okay. Ask away. So, being a two-time national champion, mm -hmm. like yourself, something I wouldn't know anything about. Oh my gosh. How did you, genuinely, how did you handle the, the, the pressure of having, really having to perform at the highest level, um, at the highest stage in college, balancing on a, on a beam? How did, like mentally, you know, how are you able to perform under that circumstance? But um, really at nationals? I think that at nationals, it was just, I didn't want to focus on it being nationals. I took it as just another competition mm -hmm. and just another time that I'm going on the beam. I kind of put the same amount of pressure on myself at practice just as I do in competition. So I think when I go from practice to competition, um, I'm just the same. So it, it's just something that you learn. You learn to handle the pressure. Just like you you learn how to handle the pressure at the plate. An O2 right. count. Yeah, you welcome it. So you have a unique style, not only on the field, but off the field. Could you tell me a little bit about it? Well, you know, my style of play is, uh, you know, they look at it and, and, yeah, you can say it's unique, but at the end of the day, I'm going out and competing. Um, you know, I'm going out and attacking. He's a competitor. Yeah, 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 big competitor. Uh, but <clears throat> as far as off the field goes, you know, at the end of the day, you got to be free, man. All right, Steel, well, as this third episode of the weekly kernel comes to an end i know that you're focused on baseball right now but i want to know are there any other things that you're currently working on yeah there's a couple business ventures and some entrepreneurial uh things we got we got going on in the works but um that's in the future uh for now ready to go attack the season hit it head on baby let's get it nice well yeah. i just want to thank you so much for being on yeah. my show and yeah. the third episode and whoa third episode third episode it was an honor 
to be on this episode. Thanks. I have to say, I really enjoyed it. You're such a professional. Thanks. And uh, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. That's right. That's right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see you guys next time. Let's do it. Peace. Peace.